want to talk about getting ready to play live. And uh, kind of the, my, the, the premise is, why did I sound so good in my bedroom and sound so bad when I got to the gig? Uh, that was something I struggled with early on. I would practice and practice and practice, and, and uh, when I would get to the gig, I would just not play. Either I wouldn't play very good, I didn't like my sounds, all that stuff. So I'm going to give you a couple of quick tips right up front so that you can skip on and start watching another video if you want. But basically the first one is practice standing up. Okay, if you're going to stand up in a gig, you need to be standing up. If you're sitting down um, at home and practicing, then the ergonomics, you know, when you sit down, your guitar is going to be further up here. Now, if you like that, then you make that adjustment to your strap so that the guitar is exactly where it is when you're sitting. That will really help you with the ergonomics and it'll feel real familiar when you get to the gig. Uh, the second tip is to practice loud. Now, now that's not easy for everybody um, because if you live in an apartment, your neighbors won't appreciate that. But if you live in a city, almost every city, even smaller cities have uh, something called rehearsal studios that you can rent by the hour. So if you've got a gig coming up and you want to do your best, I would suggest uh, renting a rehearsal space. You can get, get them sometimes for 10 or 15 or $20 an hour, a couple hours, go through the set. Uh, the great thing about it is they'll have a PA system so you can put your MP3s in, uh, bring your phone, just hook it to the system, and uh, you can you put together a set list and just jam right along. So that that is basically my two main tips for uh, for for not sucking at your gig. And, and the, thing, the, the bottom line is to try to create the environment um, when you're practicing that you're going to be in at the gig. There's one thing though that it's, you can't create and that is the audience. That's the, that's the X factor. That's the thing that makes you nervous that you're playing in front of people. So I have a few tips that will help you uh, not be so nervous when you're playing in front of people and that will help you play better. Okay. Uh, one thing is, <laughs> you can always close your eyes, okay? If you, if you can play without looking at your hands, then uh, you don't need to necessarily have your eyes open. And if your eyes are closed, you can't see them. And if you can't see them, you probably won't think about it. You'll be, it'll actually, closing your eyes will help you focus your other senses on what's going on. And that'll help you focus on your tone. And that may be dialing in your tone. It may be the, the tone of your pick against the strings. Um, it'll also help you focus on the other musicians. Of course, if you've got drummers giving you signal cues and you don't see them, then obviously that, you want to keep your eyes open for that. Okay. Uh, the other thing you can do is be prepared. Uh, as much rehearsal, as much practice as you can go into a situation, the more you're prepared for that gig, the less nervous you're going to be. That's, that's always true. If you do not, if you don't think you have anything down or most of the songs down or some of the songs down, or even the one solo that you've got to do or whatever, if you don't have that down, you're going to be freaking out about that all the way until you do that part of the service or part of the gig. Uh, so I said service because one of the things that I did when I play at churches a lot of times, I would get there early so I could practice loud. So I might get there a half hour early so I could crank up when no one's around. I've got a big room to practice in because we lived in an apartment for 30 years, so it was very uh very nice to have that opportunity to be able to jam. The other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up your equipment uh, just like you're going to set up your pedal board, set up your amp, exactly how you're going to have it at the gig. And you'll find that you're, when you get to the gig, it'll sound more like your practice situation. Okay. Um, let's see, I, I think another thing that can keep you from being nervous is to have, um, I don't have a tuner, so I don't know what I do with it. I had it somewhere. Oh, here it is. Have a tuner, be in tune, being in tune is a good thing. Uh, have an extra set of strings or two on your amp, ready to go, extra picks, uh, maybe a string winder. Um, and I, I, like having a, I like having a nail file because sometimes I play with my fingers and I want my nails to sound as good as possible. Other times, if you don't, even if you don't play with your fingers, if you're strumming like this and you've got a, a little burr on, the, on your first finger, then that's often going to catch the string and make a nasty sound. So having a nail file around is really handy. Um, and those kind of things are just little, little like security blankets that you can kind of lean into. If you know you've got everything set up for, for an emergency, you should be good. Uh, I, you know, I, uh, 
I do some, on some songs, I'm actually, my feet are busier than my hands. And uh, I used way too much wah-wah um, and volume pedal. But um, having comfortable shoes isn't a bad thing, okay? Make sure your shoes are comfortable. I know that's something. Also, eat before you play. Uh, some protein. Don't overeat, uh, but don't starve yourself because that's just gonna gonna put you in a in a in a not good place physically, and that may help. Uh, that may hurt your your performance. Uh, the other thing I always do. I'm very. I'm always early. I always like to be. Plan on being there half an hour before I'm supposed to be there because you never know what's going to happen. You could have a flat tire on the way. You get pulled over speeding. Uh, that's never happened to me. Um, or when you get there, the system may not be working right, or you're, you might have a cable that's bad, or you open your case and the string is broken. There's a lot of things that will help you be, if you're early, you will, you're much less likely to be nervous. You're much less likely to be nervous leading up to the gig, and if you're not nervous leading up to the gig, you probably won't be nervous during the gig. So, uh, so basically, um, my three tips are practice standing up, Okay, if that's if you're standing up in the gig, practice standing up. Practice loud, and if you have to wear earplugs, you can do that. If you're going to wear earplugs in the in, at the gig, you can also do that. Um, but you you don't have to if you don't if that's not what you normally do. Then that that would be detrimental because you're not hearing the tone. And I'll tell you another reason why you would practice loud is the guitar quiet in your bedroom or wherever is has different reactive properties with the amp than when it's when it's loud. When you're loud, the oh. Every little noise comes out. Every little squawk, every open string. That's the thing you'll realize very quickly when you're playing loud is that uh, how many open strings you have ringing out. I was just playing in F, blues, basically. So every one of these open strings is a no-go. And if any one of them is ringing out when I'm playing in the key of F minor, it's just going to sound wrong. It's just going to create bad overtones and bad sounds. Okay, so I hope this helps you. I hope this helps you uh, prepare for your next live gig. And uh, if you have any other suggestions, put them in the comments. I love seeing those. I'll approve them. And I may reply to them as well because I, you know, and I may even put them in the next video. I, I love to do that. So God bless you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, <laughs>